Hi, my name is Brenna. Thank you for joining me today in this yoga practice to help you get steady, strong, and ready for your day. Start by lying on your back. Observe how you feel. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach both arms overhead, stretch out through your hands and your heels. As you exhale, draw your left knee into your chest and squeeze it in with your arms. And then again, inhale, stretch everything back out, reach through your hands and your heels. Exhale, opposite knee into your chest and squeeze it in. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms reach out. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, back out. Right knee to chest. And now as you continue to do this, also pick your head up to your knee. Curl in, sense the navel drawing back towards your spine. Ignite your core a little bit more. And then again, inhale and exhale. Opposite knee, squeeze head up to knee. And inhale, stretch it back out. And again, exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach. And exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach. And now please pull both knees into your chest. Squeeze them in with your arms. Head up to knees. And then relax your head back down. And please prepare for bridge pose. Lower the soles of your feet to the floor. Arms by your sides. On an inhalation, float your hips up. Reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, slowly Lower back down. Let's do this several more times. Inhale as you come on up. Exhale, come down. And again. Remember your ujjayi. And think about balancing your breath. Find your samavriti. Inhale about five seconds. Exhale. Five seconds. Sense that you're expanding the chest as well as your belly as you breathe. And now rest and draw knees towards chest and begin to rock forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. And then next time you're forward, please stay forward. Come around to your hands and your knees. And now, as you exhale, head all the way back into child's pose. Inhale, come all the way back up. And again, exhale, round and press back. Even bend the elbows a little bit child's pose. Inhale, come back up. And do that a few more times, just freeing up the spine. Again, move with your breath. Inhale about five, exhale about five. And then eventually downward facing dog. And let's stay here in downward facing dog. Pedal back and forth between the feet and liven your shoulders. Squeeze your inner elbows towards each other. And then when you're ready, please lunge your left foot all the way up between your hands. Eventually, release your back knee to the earth and pick the chest up a bit. And now twisting lunge, sweep your left arm up towards the ceiling, lift your back knee, and float the chest high. Eventually, 
Head back to downward facing dog and let's switch sides. Step the right foot up between the hands. Tailbone into the body. Lift the chest a little bit as you lower your back knee down to the ground. And then eventually twist. Float your right arm up. Open the body. Ujjayi breath. And then eventually, again, take it back. Downward facing dog. And now nice and slow, lift your left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, turn the whole left hip open and, and live in the left side of the body. Squeeze inner elbows still. Let the breath flow all the way to pelvic floor as you inhale. And now let's switch sides. Float the right leg up. Again, eventually bend the knee, spin the whole hip open, and deep breath through the side of the body. And then lower that leg, inhale, round forward into plank pose. And as you exhale, come on down into knees, then chest, then chin. Remember to keep the hips high. And now drag the knees back. Inhale, pull forward, cobra pose, and live in the heart. And then when you're ready, exhale, come back, up and out. And now shift into child's pose for a moment. Feel the body rest and assimilate the work you've done so far. Settle into your breath again. And now when you're ready, come on up to your hands and your knees and we'll ignite the core here, moving alternate arm and leg. So as you inhale, left arm, right leg reaches out and back. Exhale, curl in a bit, but the hand and the knee stay off the ground. And now continue this a couple more times. Notice how effective this is for supporting your entire back. Remember to be aware of what's happening in the standing hip. So now other side, right arm, left leg, and just sense how that right hip is Supporting this pose, stay lifted up out of it, as well as your left shoulder. Crunching in and out on the breath. And then eventually pause, hold it for an extra breath. Stay here and then release. Again, child's pose. Let your back release and your body rest. And now please shift to your elbows and come into plank on the forearms. Remember to find a pretty flat back here. These are called shoulder isolations. So as you see here, I'm sinking and lifting out of my shoulders, but nothing else is moving. My hips are steady, my knees are steady. Do this really as many times as you want. I'll do about six to eight here. And then return, child's pose, this time hands by your feet. Let your shoulders relax after that work.
And now, please come back up. Head back into downward facing dog. Take a moment here and liven up out of the shoulders. And now little crunches. So inhale, reach your left leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, extend back up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend back up. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, back up. And exhale, release the leg back down. Other side. Right leg up, exhale, squeeze, knee to nose. Inhale, back and up. Right knee to right elbow, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Back up and out. Right knee to left elbow, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, back out. And release the leg back down to the ground. Inhale into plank. Stay for another breath and lift your right leg off the floor. Lower that. Lift your left leg off the floor. We're going to do that again. Right leg off the ground. And switch left leg off the ground. Excellent. Downward facing dog. Inhale into plank. Side plank. Let's start on the left hand. Slowly sweep that right arm up towards ceiling. Possibly look up. Shift back. And then opposite side. Chaturanga, Cobra Pose, and Downward Facing Dog. And now, check in with Uddiyana Bandha, the stomach lock. So, if you're not menstruating, not trying to get pregnant, and not pregnant, we can do this. Exhale all breath out, hold it out, suction belly in and up. Hold that as long as you can. When you're ready, eventually you inhale. And then let's walk it forward. Hang loose in a forward bend. Interlace your hands behind your back. Reach your arms away from your back body. Stretch out your shoulders as you're enlivening the back of your legs. Feel free to play with the neck a little bit. Eventually, arms down to the floor or to your feet. Bow in. Forehead draws in a little bit. Chin in towards your throat. Release through the upper back. And then, please rise all the way up into standing. And let's pause here for a moment. And we will work on some breath work now. Moving into Kapalabhati with a little Uddiyana Bandha. So please lean over onto your legs. And then from here, when you're ready, start pumping. Kapalabhati. <laughs> Keep it going. Rapid exhalations. After about 54 pumps of the breath, You'll then exhale all of your breath out, hold it out, and suction your belly in and up. But take your time. Get through those 54 pumps if possible. Again, as you see here, exhale all breath out, hold it out. Find the suction. Uddiyana Bandha, chin stays in. Shoulders can hunch up around your ears. Suck in for as long as you want to. Eventually release, inhale, stand up, arms reach out and up, lengthen your abdomen. And then exhale, come back down nice and slow, and we will do it again. First, pumping. When you're ready. And so on. 54 pumps.
And then eventually you start slowing it down. And exhale all of your breath out. Hold it out. And now suction your belly in and up. Uddiyana Bandha. Long spine, chin in, shoulders up to your ears. Deepen the suction. Eventually you come back up. And as you exhale, Tadasana. Lower arms down by your sides. Pause here for a moment. Close your eyes and feel. In this next segment, we'll move to the wall for a handstand prep. So now please come into downward facing dog. Heels find the wall. And then when you feel good and your shoulders nice and lifted, please extend your right leg up onto the wall. Stay for as really as long as you comfortably can, actively stretching both of your legs here. You could even enjoy a little more Uddiyana Bandha while in this position. When you're ready, please switch legs. Stretch the opposite side. And then eventually you'll come out of that. When you're ready, take a break. You'll come down onto your knees and rest. In Vajrasana, you're kneeling on your heels. I recommend resting your hands. Give your wrists a moment. And now, handstand prep. Return to downward facing dog with your heels touching the wall. And now walk one foot up the wall, push into that foot, and lift the other foot up the wall. Here you are in your L shape with your body. Play with the legs a little bit. Feel free to bend, lift big up out of the hips. Tuck your front low ribs in slightly. Squeeze inner elbows towards each other just like you would for down dog. And eventually, you'll come back, take a break. Let's do it again. When you're ready, please return, downward facing dog. Over time, as you build in this pose, about five breaths, then to 10 breaths, then to 15 breaths, that may take a while. But slowly and surely, building stamina. Again, rest. And observe. Nice to check your wrists a bit. Twirl them around a few times. Just release some of that tension and pressure. And then finally, to rest. Either a moment in Shavasana or legs up the wall. Again, if you're menstruating, let's just choose regular Shavasana. Otherwise, legs up the wall, great way to end your practice. Now bring your attention down into the belly. Again, the very seed of your fire, your core, your power that we use throughout the day. Watch the rise and the fall of that power place. Feel a gentleness as well as a radiance glowing out from the abdomen. Sense that you have prepared yourself for this day. Stay here as long as you'd like. 
Om Shanti. Om Peace. Namaste.